Hello and welcome to the evening session on day nine of ten of the 2017 World Para Athletics Championships here at London Stadium on a dank and damp afternoon here at this stadium. The first time we've seen any rain in the nine days or so of these championships so far. So what's the weather going to do? 14 degrees and it does feel chilly as well. Very cloudy. We may, just may, get a little bit more rain. Or higher. 196 out of bolt, the record from June 1980. The final of the women's 100 metres, T38. And it features the reigning European, world and Paralympic champion, Sophie Hahn, plus the world 400 metres champion, Kadena Cox. Well, long jump champions in this as well. They're all British. Start off with lane two, based in Charlestown, New South Wales, and the New South Wales Institute of Sport. The long jump silver medalist, Erin Cleaver. The new world champion in the long jump for Great Britain. Lane four for Germany, the 200 metre silver medalist here, Lindy Arve. A 2012 viewer, a 2017 champion, the reigning European world and Paralympic champion, Sophie Hahn. Lane six for Poland, the 100 metres bronze medalist of the Europeans in Grosseto last year. Bronze in the long jump here and fourth in the 200, Anna trainer Becia. The history maker in Rio, in lane seven for Great Britain, the 400 metres world champion, Kadena Cox. In lane eight for Japan, silver in the 400 metres here, Yuka Takamatsu. And in lane nine for Australia, fifth in the 200 metres final here, Ella Pardy. So three from Britain, two from Australia, Japan, Poland and Germany all represented. This should be a great final. Absolutely, Will. It's going to be hard to go past Sophie Hahn for this one, the, the local favourite. The crowd is going to be up and about for this one. Sophie Hahn, the world record holder, when she won the world title in Doha, Successfully defending the crown she won in Lyon. Cleaver in two, Breen in three, Ave four, Hahn five, Trainovetsiak six, Cox seven, Takamatsu eight, Party in lane nine. The final of the women's 100 metres T38. They're away very quickly. Hahn is flying, Cox is going well, and Breen also. It's Sophie Hahn leading the way for Britain in the London Olympic Stadium. the silver medal she was away well but Sophie Hahn absolutely peerless in this and she's done it again it's a 15 at one stage it looked like it might be a British one two three Hahn Cox and Breen but are they reeling it Olivia Breen in the final meters solid start by Cox very well built for the 100 metres, but look at Hahn go. Great start to Breen at third at this stage. Trenovetsiak trying to fight back. Are they overtaking Breen? Tried to do the same with Cox, but nobody near Sophie Hahn. She's broken her own world record. 12.44. That was sensational. But managed to get into her run for that last sort of 50 metres and come home for that second place. But all Sophie Hahn, she's uh, an incredible competitor. Fabulous starter was Cox away powerfully as you'd absolutely expect, but Hahn has just got fantastic top speed when she gets going. And that gap increasing and increasing over the time. The battle of the 200 and the 400 metres 
world champions for Britain once or twice in 2012. And she returns here five years later, a world champion again, a world record holder again. Gold for Hart for Britain, 12.44. Silver for Britain, Cox, 13.07. Bronze for Joni Alvey, 13.16. Day nine producing more gold medals for China. Wu King in the women's shot, but Yang Yifai in the men's 100. Four golds for the United States. Crew, Brannigan, Wallace Martin. For Great Britain, Han Hermitage Davis with additional goals for Australia, Madison Rosario, Dion Kenzie, Jaden Sawyer, and Brazil with two from a pair of Santos's. Four goals now for Ireland, two for Michael McKillop, and two for Jason Smith. Canada on eight medals, Latvia with their four goals in the throwing competitions, two goals for Peter Genin for Belgium, Marcel Hook delivering for Switzerland, Trinidad and Tobago, memorably in the javelin. Still no goals for France or for the Netherlands or Portugal. Bit of a collector's item. New Zealand, who struck with Lee Malone in Rio. He's here working for TV, so no goals for them. 63 nations have hit the mark here, and Luxembourg still on that Habscheid silver.